field for tonight's fourth race coming out onto the track and printing to the post first leg of the pick three exact to wagering here comes jack franklin and dairy bag owned by ambala patel driven by jack franklin to joshua's legacy owned by milo condit with ron stack three self-imposed owned and driven by al gobble for cause hanover owned by tom erickson and dick richardson jr Five is Crown Time Endeavor, owned by Allison Hensler, and a driver change to Mike Wilder. Six, Tug Button, owned by Donna and Dick Will, driven by Brett Merkel. And number seven is She's a Royal Fitch, owned by Roy Wilson. Jim Daly will be in the sulky. Trotters for the fourth, pick three, and exact the wagering post time in six minutes. Field for race four moves to the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Self-imposed takes the lead. Crown time endeavor, though, is going to the front. Crown Time Endeavor, middle of the racetrack, self-imposed along the rail. Trotting up from between horses, Kaz Hanover. Derry Bag is next. Far outside, she's a royal fish. Joshua's legacy and tug button as they trot to the quarter mile pole. Crown Time Endeavor continues to lead the way. On his heels in second, self-imposed. Kaz Hanover trying to make up his mind what to do. Should I go in? Should I come out? I think I'll come out. They're by the opening quarter in 29 and 1. They're off that top turn and trotting past the stands. Crown time endeavors there by a length and a half. Cause Hanover's on the rim, second and challenging. Self imposed under tapping fills the gap into third. Derry Bag is fourth. She is a royal fitch, is in the fifth. Joshua's legacy. Tug Button's got 10 to make up. Around the clubhouse, turn to the half mile pole. Crown time endeavor being sent and sent hard tonight. Zings them by the half. 59 and 1. They straighten out down the back stretch. Crown Time Endeavor will take some beating from here. Self imposed, regains second to left. Still on the outside, Kaz Hanover third. Derry Bag off the rail fourth. She's a Royal Fitch closing nicely. She'll need the passing lane. Here comes Tug Button up on the outside. Joshua's Legacy is seventh on the rail. Hub to hub as they trot to three quarters. Crown Time Endeavor, Jiggy Joggin leads the way. Self imposed is cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Moving by three quarters of fast, 129. Around the far turn, Crown Time Endeavors now being asked for his best. Al Gobble comes to the outside with self-imposed. She's a Royal Fitch is third there into the stretch and we're down to two. Crown Time Endeavor has the lead. Driving up on the outside, self-imposed now takes over. Self-imposed now gets the lead and draws clear of the battles for second. Self-imposed and very tight, maybe the seven. She's a royal fetch. Here comes the unofficial winner of tonight's fourth race. Actually, he's back in the paddock. Three self-imposed, the seven-year-old Bay Gelding by Tabor Lobel out of Speed Tamer GB. Owned, reign and trained by Al Gobble of Dublin. Covering the mile here in 158 and 4 to establish a lifetime best. Number three, self imposed, the winner, the 3 7 exacto 101 60. Windows open on the fifth, and for our simulcast fans, a huge carryover in the twin try. 37,500. 37 plus in tonight's twin trifecta carryover. No changes in the fifth. Seventh race, Mike Wilder driving one, 